Si ama de verdad que conoce con palma. Estamos en este momento a punto de empezar un recorrido por la historia de Lima. Porque hablar de barrios altos es también hablar de la ciudad en general. Lima para aquella época era una ciudad destruida. O sea, hablamos de una ciudad completamente pues, en crisis, con acequias en las calles, con casas que se caían. Esa es la realidad, así es el Perú. El diablo te bendice, pero de verdad que el diablo te bendice. Well, this film is, uh, is about Barrios Altos. It's a very important neighborhood in, in the historical center of Lima. Uh, it's a place uh, with which we have like a love-hate relationship because we love its past, no? because of its historical heritage, the architectural uh, heritage, the culture. But at the same time, we like hate or we are afraid of its present um, because of people now, people of our days, they are considered uh, invaders, criminals, uh, robbers, no? So uh, it is, It is very important for us in, for, in our identity as Peruvians. Barrios Altos is very important for our identity as Peruvians, but at the same time, it's like, we don't want to go there. We consider their neighbors like dangerous people, and that is a dangerous place, no? You just mentioned um, Barrios Altos is a very stigmatized place almost. It's one of the, we call it the most feared neighborhoods in Lima. Um, people are scared, there are robberies and crime. And like, this is like the whole kind of stigma that the, this barrio has. Um, mm -hmm. Why, in your work, because you did another film uh, before uh, Mis Barrios Altos Querido, um, you keep coming back to that place. Yes. Why? What attracts you to Barrios Altos? Well, I, I, I've been thinking about that <laughs> during all these years. Why? Why I want to go back to this? And, and I'm working on a third project on Barrio Saltos. But the question is why, no? Uh, I think, I think it's, it has to be with my, my, power, my, my dad, no? He was born not in Barrio Saltos, but in the historical center of Lima. And uh, I think the Creole music my family used to have you know these sunday uh, familiar meetings you know singing creole music my sister was a very good uh, creole music singer and uh, but i but i think the most important for me is that i i think i really believe in those uh, stigmas or i have believed for years in those stigmas and when i started to work on Barrios Altos, I discovered that there's not true. I mean, it's, you can find so many wonderful people. I think I would, I would like to, to bring those, these, these stories of these nice people, working people who fight for Barrios Altos. So we can start to fight this fear that we have to Barrios Altos, no? And we can, you know, forget about those prejudices And those stigmas. Esta casa es en restaurarla, mira cómo está. Son familia, que tiene sus hijos, todo. Ya, o sea que si viene ahorita este. Un... Si viene quien venga, hermano. No, 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 no vamos a permitir que lo vas a dejar en la calle los chivolos. Junto a toda la gente de Barrios Altos y que le pongan su jato. Oh, chivolo, mira, tiene culo, van a pintarlo eso. Y de ahí cuando terminamos el mural, que era un homenaje a lucha. Oh, puta, qué chévere, qué bravo. Yo creo que es momento ya de imponer. La democracia a nosotros no nos ha servido para nada. Mamita, tú en tu casa tienes agua. Agua tienes en tu casa propia, tu agua propia. Y nadie te ha dicho que te eches mi colonia. Nadie te ha dicho que te eches mi colonia. Para eso tú tienes tus aguas de flores por ahí. And you just mentioned before in your synopsis, so you portray five very diverse and really wonderful characters and very different, like they're, they're, they're incredibly different and they all make up um, in a way uh, what Barrio Saltos is and is about. Um, how did you find the characters and how did you approach them? 
to yeah to mm -hmm. make a film yes. about them well uh, it is part of this field work no in barrio saltos that took me many years uh, well years in in this whole project of these two films and the third one that i was telling before so I've been working in Barrio Santos for seven years, no, with this, you know, going, talking with people, meeting some other people, no. And uh, when I started to think on this project, Barrios, Mi Barrios, my, my beloved Barrio Santos, uh, I wanted to find these differences uh, between the characters, you know, an old, I mean, a, a lady, an old lady, you know, a young uh, lady too. And you know different, you know these characters that, that are so different between them. No? Uh, and I was meeting people, you know, visiting, for example, uh, Afro-Peruvian dance uh, schools, no, uh, where I was going to to talk with these girls, no, and the teachers. And then, for example, Anita, uh, I found her, no, I found her, and we talk. I talk with her mom. No? Her mom uh, told me the story of her that is wonderful, no? that she wants to stay here, but her dad wants her to go to Europe no? to, because Spain is a better place to live, but she wants to stay and she wants to participate in this contest. So I, think, I, I thought that was a great story, no? like a tree, tree, <laughs> tree act structure. No? So it was great for me and, I, and we started to work on filming all the, the situations that let me bring that story, you know? And the same happened with all the characters. Uh, Doña Elsa and, uh, and Sepeda, they were part of the public that went to see or to watch my first documentary, you no? Know? Uh, I remember once that Sepeda came to talk to me and he said, if you want to fight uh, against prejudices, you have to start with us, no? the people who live in Barrios Altos. And I, and, and, and I think, oh, this guy, <laughs> this is the kind of person that I would like to tell a story about. No? So, uh, well, we, we started to work, no? and I met his family, his, his dad, his mom, well, his dad, uh, he passed away by the COVID. No? And, well, uh, and then we could make this great story about him. No? And that's how I made uh, everyone, no? uh, uh, every, every one, each one of the characters. Mm -hmm. How long have you then been working in Barrio Saltos? So how long are you, have you been researching there? Uh, I started to, the, the field work in Barrio Saltos in the, the year 2013. <laughs> so it's been a long time, no? It's been a long time. And and uh, all the time, not not only not only filming, of course, no, but all but the most part of the time, you know, visiting people, meeting people, you know, trying to be very uh, intimate, no. Uh, I can say that some of the characters are very, we are very friends now, no, uh, and we keep talking and helping in case we need help, no. So it's it's great, no. My next question, actually, you just answered it, but maybe you, you want to add something. Um, so you are an anthropologist, actually, um, and filmmaker at the same time. So you just said it, like with filmmaking, there's also a lot of research that comes with it. Anthropologist, that's your research. You do a lot of field work. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your approach to the story? Like how can these two disciplines um, go together, anthropology and filmmaking? Uh, when, you are, when you make research uh, for anthropology, you know, an, an anthropology research, uh, you can use your filming technologies no? or your video technologies uh, for the research, no? you know, to, to get uh, data, no? but also you can use that data to build a story, no? And your your uh, your investigation, your final ethnography can be shown not in a paper but in a film. So uh, 
that I think that's the, the, the way in we can integrate anthropology and filmmaking. Barrio Altos is one of those neighborhoods, one of those many neighborhoods, especially in Lima, that is kind of first abandoned, um, politically, let's say, abandoned, and it's also disappearing in a way. It's a neighborhood that's kind of vanishing. Um, what needs to change, do you think, on a political level? Um, we're talking a little bit about politics currently in Peru, as it's so there's such a huge tension uh, currently. And what can film, filmmaking, and especially your film, maybe contribute to this change? Or maybe is this film in the end just a sort of capturing what is there now, which maybe in 10 years isn't there anymore? Well, I think uh, in both ideas that you said. Uh, I'm sure that there, there are many things that have changed uh, since I filmed uh, Those People Do Exist, that is the name of the first film. There are many, for example, buildings that you cannot find anymore, no? buildings of the, you know, the colonial times. So, there, so th that film is, uh, you know, a, 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 a testimony of a, a period of, no? But at the same time, I think this film or these films can help uh, to, as, as, as I said, to find uh, in these neighbors uh, people in which we can, which, with which we can identify. identify no? So uh, that, I think that's a way in which we can fight against these prejudices and so go and visit Barrios Altos and feel part of the city, make, make it part of the city, you know? Uh, and I hope that, that I can help with that, you no? Know? There's a lot of people working on Barrios Altos, you no? Know, from uh, uh, design, urban design, from the arts, from social working. And I think film can also help people integrate with Barrios Altos, you no? Know? Mm -hmm. How can you think coming back to the UK, people in the UK are watching this film. How do you think people in the UK can connect, an audience in the UK can connect to this Peruvian story, to this Peruvian neighborhood? What do you hope uh, can an international audience take away from your film? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I think it's, it, it will be good for, uh, for people in the UK, in UK to watch uh, a part of, of Peru which is not very well known, no? I think maybe from Peru we have this idea of the Andean culture, uh, you know, Machu Picchu and, and all the, the, the Incas history and maybe that's the, prince, the main attractive of, of Peru, no? Uh, but we, the, uh, in the rest of the world they don't think too much about the present, no, the present and the, the Creole culture, no, of the coast of uh, of the cities of the coast, no, and it will be very interesting for them to know part of this past, which you can see in the in the music and in the monuments and in the architecture, but also the present, no, with as you said, you know, uh, that is falling down that makes people live it, live in risk, you no? Know? And all the problems, the social problems in, in, the, in the heart of the, of the city, you know? In the middle of the city. This is not a, a peripheric neighbor. This is, in, this is in downtown, you no? Know? In the historical center. So I think it's interesting. I think it will be very interesting for them to see. Muchas veces vienen chiquitos de 9, 10 años y medio pireñitas. Primero se les conversa, se les trata con cariño y si luego no entienden, bueno, pues la cadenazo limpio. La verdad yo veo más choro blanco que negro. Bien, el balazo que entra por aquí sale por acá, pero nadie, no me ha agarrado nada, ¿verdad? Nada, nada. Yes, I would like to invite the audience to, to watch uh, My Beloved Barrio Saltos, which is available in, in Amazon Prime Video and uh, enjoy the film, know this part of Peru, uh, know the, uh, these lovely people, you know, working people that live in a neighbor 
that is on a neighborhood that is stigmatized. <laughs> so, uh, and it's very important in the Peruvian identity, in our identity, no? So, uh, hope you enjoy and, and well, that's it. Mm -hmm.